16 years after the Haitian army was disbanded, these volunteers undergo military-style training in the name of the armed forces of Haiti. They consider themselves a reserve corps, and they say the day is near when Haiti will have a full-fledged military once again. We are mobilized in all corners of the country, not just here in Port-au-Prince. We want to save the nation. When you're alone, you're weak. When together, you're strong. In 1995, then-President Jean Bertrand Aristide disbanded the armed forces. He argued that they had only served to promote coups and dictatorships. Haiti's new president-elect, however, campaigned partly on bringing the army back. The only security force right now that is actually comprised of Haitians is the police, but its leaders say it is poorly equipped, underfunded, and has only 40 percent of the officers it needs to effectively police this country. Since 2004, thousands of foreign troops led by the United Nations have essentially acted as Haiti's army. The force's presence and its $800 million annual budget bother Haitians on both ends of the political spectrum. With that amount of money, I think uh, our police could be, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> put in a position to perform uh, its role. Proponents of a new army say it would bolster the police and allow Haitians to protect themselves. But for others, soldiers on the streets would conjure up memories of only one thing, brutal repression. Mario Joseph investigates mass killings committed in the past by the armed forces and their paramilitary proxies. The Asian people have a short memory, some of them. And then, you know, the, the time passed too quickly, too. But some young people who don't never experience the army. In fact, most of Haiti's population is under 30. Some see an army as one of the few potential opportunities for a steady job. Imagine I have kids, and what am I going to do for them? If they don't bring the army back, what am I going to do? The army helps him out, it helps all of us out. You know? Whether or not the idea is feasible in today's Haiti remains debatable. So too, perhaps, is the wisdom of actually carrying it out. Craig Morrow, Al Jazeera, Port-au-Prince.